What's up, guys? It's your man, Donovan Sharp, and welcome to this edition of Sharp Shorts. Let's get to it. Black women are at the bottom of the sexual totem pole, guys. Point blank, period. That's not a secret. I'm not breaking news here. Black women are almost nobody's type, and everyone knows it, including black men and women, regardless of what they say. Now, black women wouldn't be as pissed off about being the least preferred females in the world if black men hadn't started jumping ship and dating white girls. And this is this is high quality, high caliber black men. They could deal with it if high caliber black men were checking for them, but we're not anymore. And the reasons the reasons are obvious. Like I've written and talked about the reasons ad nauseum. Not only are guys like us staying away from black women, we're getting with white girls at an increasing rate. The more successful we get, the less attractive black women become. Basic math. But something that black women have started saying to simultaneously shame us for dating white girls, and of course white girls themselves, is, well, white girls do it too. In other words, all the fuckery that black women get up to, the lying, the cheating, the bad behavior, multiple baby daddies, and all the rest of that, white girls do the exact same shit. And you want to know something, guys? They're right. White girls do lie. White girls do cheat. White girls do engage in bad behavior. White girls do have multiple baby daddies. White girls are every bit as bitchy. They're every bit as deceitful. They're every bit as dishonest. They're every bit as out of pocket as black women. And to be honest with you, in a lot of cases, they do it at a high, they do it to a higher degree because white girls have a lot more options than black women do. And as a side note, it is beyond me why black women continue to treat black men like absolute dog shit, knowing full well that we're their only option. They know damn well that men of other races are not trying to get with them unless it's maybe for a one night stand or a slump buster or to say that they did it at least once. And even then, the quality of non-black men who do give them attention is marginal at best. We're talking about bottom of the barrel white guys, right? Black women are always saying, well, you get with fat, uh, fat, uh, ugly white girls. They know damn well that's not the case, man. Anyway, yes, white girls do do it too. But here is what black women ain't telling y'all. White girls are submissive. White girls cook. White girls clean. White girls suck dick. White girls treat you like a fucking god. White girls quite literally, quite literally do everything black women don't. White women know how to treat a man. They understand how to keep a man around. They understand the importance of femininity. They understand what men really need. Now, on the other side of that coin, the white girls do it too is 100% correct. But at least we get something out of the deal for the bullshit we deal with. Yes, gentlemen, we have to deal with the lies and the bad behavior and the disrespect and everything else. But at least we get our dick sucked. At least we get to experience a woman who knows how to act. This is where the cost-benefit analysis comes into play for men as far as relationships with, uh, relationships with women are concerned. As men, we are willing to put up with a certain amount of bullshit. We're, we're, we're willing to, to, to put up with uh, uh, you know, certain things if the benefits make it worth it. Women of all races are going to be bitchy. They're going to misbehave. They're going to act like adolescents. That's the Listen, that's the cost of being with women. You're going to have to deal with that stuff. We know and understand this. You can't, listen, you can't benefit all the good women have. You can't benefit from all of the good that women have to offer without having to deal with their bullshit. You got to take the good with the bad, as the saying goes. We get it. We're willing to pay the price. But with black women, there's no benefit and that's the difference. Black women bring all their bullshit to the table, just like women of, women of all races. But they don't give men enough incentive to want to deal with the bullshit. So when they say white girls do it too, they're, what they're leaving out is that black girls don't do it too. As in black women don't suck. Black women don't fuck. They don't cook. They don't clean. They don't treat a man like a man or act like she's got some goddamn sense. Now, one might say, well, Donovan, if a man isn't red pill aware and doesn't really know how to handle women with a strong masculine frame, isn't every woman going to withhold their benefits? And the answer is yes. It doesn't matter the color of the skin. If you don't act like a man, women will walk all over you. That is a fact. But herein lies another fallacy. The more masculine you are with black women, the more you impose your will, the more you take charge. 
to try to, to lead the relationship, the more she pushes back. Black women literally punish you for being a man. It's like they have an involuntary response that causes them to push back when a man shows dominant masculinity and a rock solid frame. It is as though they don't want to relinquish what they feel is the power position they feel is their birthright to have. They don't want to be submissive, guys. That's a dirty word as far as black women are concerned. The more dominant you are, the more masculine and dominant they act. And ain't nobody trying to deal with that nonsense, guys. White girls, on the other hand, do not. White girls completely and wholly submit to dominance. The more masculine dominance you show, the more feminine and submissive they are. That, funny how that works, right? Act like a man, white girls act like women. Act like a man, black girls act like a man. Now, of course, we always have the typical lying naysayers who, who like to make themselves outliers, right? They like to tell us things knowing damn well that it's not true and that there's no way for us to prove it. Guilty till proven innocent. As if they're telling us they're not the typical black woman to defeat the argument. So, for example, well, I suck dick. Yeah, when it serves a purpose like manipulation or angling for some sort of financial benefit, not to serve your man. I cook and clean. Yes, you do cook and clean. You clean when you're tired of looking at all the shit all over the floor and you only cook when you're broke. I dress sexy. Yeah, when you and your ratchet ass girlfriends go to the club looking for looking for Draquan and Tyrone. I suck dick. No, you don't. If black women really did all these things, they wouldn't be where they are now. I think it's something like 80% of black women over the age of 35 aren't married. And these are the reasons why. It's no wonder black men are going to white girls. Because, dude, black women don't know how to act. White girls do it too. So the next time somebody says to you, white girls do it too, hit them with this. Well, maybe. But at least you get something for dealing with their bullshit. And leave it at that. Because at the end of the day, guys, dealing with black women is like paying your rent, but not being allowed to live there. Thanks for watching.